Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, I know it's been a bit since I last uploaded after that last game week. That was pretty awful. Um, I got into some other stuff with my work as well, and it's just been a bit since I got back here, but we are still covering it. We are still doing this. We are going to keep going probably a little more frequently as this starts, especially during international break. I had the opportunity to break, take a break myself. So we'll get going. If you haven't been here before and you haven't hit the like and subscribe button yet, please do so to support the channel and we'll get things back up and running and hopefully reclimbing that table after I had already made up so many ground, I kind of dropped back again. But this is all the way back at game week seven, the ending of it. The result, as you can see here, completely awful week. I don't know if I've ever done this bad in any fantasy before in one week. We finished with 22 points on the day. This was after the last three game weeks were 65, 65, and 66. So it was a big letdown on the current trend that was happening. Um, I don't honestly remember a lot of stuff that happened in these games. So this video will probably be quitty, pretty quick. Um, but we're just going to kind of go over what I do remember. Zoet, zero points, lost four. Spezia lost 4-0 to uh, Hellas Verona. So yeah, he played in at least 60 minutes, which is two points, but every two goals against is a minus one. So that brings us back down to zero points for Zoet. Uh, Genoa didn't keep a clean sheet, lost one nil to Salernitana. Of course, that's a game where like, okay, Genoa has a chance to get a clean sheet. Nope. Uh, Salernitana goes and beats them. Udinese ties Sampdoria 3-3. Only a single point there as well. And finally, that beautiful run for Napoli finally comes to an end. I had like three or four clean sheets in a row by Mario Rui, some attacking returns, bonus, it was all going good. And now after getting scored on by Fiorentina, uh, Mario Rui also only gets the single point. So whether it was other cards or getting subbed off between six minutes, I didn't even get two points with any of these. Normally you can count on two points, uh, but no, just one. Thankfully, Roma did pick up the clean sheet and Karsdorp does get the clean sheet. So I did get seven points there. So Karsdorp was the defender to go with this week. So that was my small little bright spot on the team. But I knew that this week wasn't going to be good when Barella's streak finally came to an end. Barella only hits the single point on the game week. Ravella gets two points. Diaz gets two points, just your playing points. Brought in Diaz this week, didn't really pay off right away. But at least this time, Leao did get a goal. He got a yellow card, though. Still, again, another negative there. Uh, so he gets the yellow card there, too. Uh, but he does score, which is nice. Finally got a goal from Leao. And just bringing this up quickly, I'm trying to... Oh, okay, so that's another thing that sucks is Oshimhen. Generally, only, it's only one point for penalty earned. I feel like it should be, but he earned the penalty, though, which is, I know I skipped over a player, the last player that we're going to talk about. I originally had, as you can see, Immobile in as captain. He didn't end up playing. He's injured right now. Didn't play for Italy at all over this international break, which meant up steps vice captain Lorenzo Insigne. Oshimhen wins a penalty. Think, oh, this is great. This is actually going to work out well. Uh, and Sinia is going to uh, do so good on his penalty, double those points. Osh and with the Oshim hand, a single point for drawing the penalty is going to be great. Insignia misses the penalty or gets saved or whatever, and I believe the goal is put in immediately after. But unlike Fantasy Premier League, where that would count as an assist for Insignia as a rebound, no, that just counts as Insignia missing it, someone else scoring. So he takes, I believe it's minus two. I Actually, maybe I'm just going to quickly fact check that. Miss penalty, minus three for the missed penalty, which overall as a normal player brings him to negative one. But he takes the captain's role now that Immobile was gone because I had him as a vice captain. So that minus one gets doubled to minus two. So just an absolute disaster struck from there. What a swing of points that could have been. It's five points for a goal for a midfielder. So that could have been a plus 10, potentially bonus at the end. And it goes down to minus two. So that's a swing of 12 points there at least. So that is really rough. And that just kind of put that extra, extra, uh, extra exclamation point in a negative fashion on my week. So now I'm looking at, I don't even know, did Mela play? Mela started. 
didn't even get the six to 60th minute. So that's rough. I know I'm not as prepared this week as I just forget everything that happened from that week. It was so long ago. So it's not the greatest video I'm doing. I do understand that. Um, and again, I sit past Lich for when he's scoring points, of course. So it's not even like he had my ver first bench spot. It, it was just a rough week. Um, and yeah, I'm looking forward to the next one. Hopefully the preview one and the video will be better itself. Obviously not really covering Lazzarini too much. Um, I'll talk about transfer plans soon. Need to check up on the Immobile situation. Uh, Mela has been doing, has not been what he was promised to be at all. So he's someone I'm looking to get rid of. Lazzarini, I mean, like if I'm doing a package deal, I might as well get rid of him too at some point. But hey, uh, not a great week. It can only get better from there. We'll take a quick look at the league results. So I had climbed up to in the top thousand and now I dropped back another thousand points. Everything was going so well and I just got hammered by that week. So in uh, the Forged and Fire League that we're all in, we see that most of the people that were in the top are still in the top, no problem. And I was in like fourth or fifth, I think. And I just dropped down hardcore there. Um, Congrats to Football 15 and Fox. He's still doing really good. Still a nice little title race there going on right now. Um, and uh, Sal, Sal's in there as well. And like that kind of 10, 15, okay, no, it's 17 point span. So under 20 points in the top three, which is good. The rest of us have some catching up to do. Okay, so that's a little league update right there. Football 15 in first, Fox in second, Team Juve or Sal in third. And then the drop off begins. The couple of people tied for fourth and fifth there Galactico FC and Ebra 11. All right. Um, other than that, there's my rank updated rank 2075th. That's got to start changing. And uh, yeah, not too much to get into this video. No uh, fun points to talk about at all. Um, I think I'm just going to leave it there and get back into the swing of things with better content in the future. Okay. So I'm going to say take care. Please subscribe down below for some better videos in the future, which have me a little more happier and uh, the information fresh. I will have a preview video within the next day or so. Take care and see you then.